beautiful people, it is I, Shogun K. Bat like bra straps and four flats on a Cadillac. Sheesh. I'm here with it. Today I'm back with a snack and chat with my son. What's up? You can tell him your name. Ah, um, Isaiah. Isaiah, now he act like he nervous. He's been on camera about three, four times now. Three, four times now, man. Today we back with a quick little snack and chat. We got some chicken feet. You like chicken feet? Yeah. You like some chicken feet. And we got some gizzards. Yeah, we taking it down south, baby. Taking it down south. Chicken feet, gizzards. Of course, I got that B-Love hot sauce on deck. I ain't using this danger. Don't get it twisted. I ain't want y'all to see the top of this one because the top fell off. <laughs> but we got this one right here, the Hectic. That's my go-to sauce. I'm going to go ahead and pull that in there real quick. And I'm going to, uh, I ain't got a whole lot of it because it's almost oh, enough. It's enough. It's almost gone. But for backup, I got the good old, old bay sauce. You feel me? Hey, man, let's get into a quick prayer, and then we can uh, start right. the snacking and chatting. You feel me? All right. Divine Creator, thank you for this food. I pray that this food nourishes our body, makes us strong. I pray that you bless the hands that made it, which was I. Right. Thank you. And I also pray that you bless the animal that gave his life so that we can feast. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bam, there we go. Just like that. Just like that. All right, man. So let's dig right in. Your hands clean, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Your hands clean? I don't know. It's my hands clean. Mm. Yeah, I don't be. Y'all kids don't be washing your hands. Y'all kids don't be washing your hands. Y'all don't be washing your hands, man. Mmm. Gives us on a point. Mm -hmm. mm. So he knows it's good. It's good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Our family from Alabama. <clears throat> we from the side. Well, not us, but <laughs> our family roots is. You feel me? I used to go to Alabama every summer as a kid for our family reunion. Love the South. It's in my blood. You got a little bit of your blood because of me. Just a little bit. Nah, your, uh, your grandma from the South, too. They from Georgia. Yeah? Mm hmm They from Georgia. You feel me? Ain't no more playing GA. Huh? Ain't no more playing GA, man. What you talking about? My style's trifle. Assault rifle. What are you talking about? I'm just living my life and vice versa. Eat some chicken feet. Bruh. <laughs> he don't know nothing about that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Hey, that's a nice old gizzard, huh? Mm -hmm. You ain't messing with that hot sauce, huh? Nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm taking that. Who is chicken feet? We ain't get no thumbnail. Mm. We ain't get no thumbnail. Mm. That looks like you know my hands. <laughs> bro, you just trying to say my hands is ashy and crackling and old, bro? Well, if this is like my hands, it's like your feet. Take them socks off and show them to the camera. He don't want to do that. Yeah, he don't want to do that. Let's look at the thumbnail. Nah, I ain't going that That was kind of corny. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I ain't cutting it out. It's going to be there. It was corny. It's going to be there. Did you Did you look for the thumbnail? I was thumbnail. seeing my gizzard. All right, cool. We good. We good. We good. Hey, man. Y'all like chicken feet? Let me know in the comments if you like chicken feet. Mm. Oh, we need a bucket. Jump out of frame and get that bucket real quick. There you go. Put it right there. there you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Chicken feet, dog. Mm -hmm. Well, we gotta have a conversation, bro. 
What? But y'all didn't know, me and my son had the birds and bees conversation. You don't know what you talking about. What? If I ain't know what I'm talking about, how you get here? If that's the case, your mama got some explaining to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, anything, they look good, but these nails are. That's how your toenails look. No, they don't. Bruh, I don't be telling you cut them toenails. No. Bruh, I be telling you cut your toenails. No, you don't. You don't remember you slice through the front of your socks? Yeah, right. Bro, we yeah, said to keep right. on your socks, bro. You don't remember that? You always have holes mm-hmm. in your socks? Oh, oh my that. God. You be cutting mm-hmm. through your socks. You got damn Bro, when you was little, socks. we had to change your bed sheets every other week. Yeah, right. Because you kept slicing through the bed sheets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't slice me through the bed sheets, bro. Mm. Mm. You know, you remember Fluffy? Who? Fluffy. Who that? Your first dog. I ain't no first dog. Yeah, that little poodle we got. Only nah, dog. he had a poodle named Fluffy. I ain't had no. We let you play soccer with him one day, bro. Uh-huh. And you took your shoe off and stabbed him right in the heart. <laughs> And Fluffy was out of here. <laughs> took my shoe off and stabbed him. Oh, the toenail. Went right to him. Y'all playing soccer right in the living room. It was horrible. Blood everywhere. Mm, I thought you were going to be. Blood everywhere. But yeah, we had the birds and bees conversation. He think he know a little something. So, oh. if you could take a girl out on a date right now, don't be adding no, oh, if I've got this amount of money. No, right now. How much money you got right now? I only got like a hundred. You got a hundred. All right, here we go. Perfect. Uh, he got a hundo. If you got to take a girl out on a date and you only got the hundred dollars to spend, where y'all going? And I only got the hundred dollars to spend? Mm-hmm. Uh, how long have I known her? Like, it's your girl. No, no. First, first date. date. First date. First date. Mm-hmm. Now, I know people say, like, oh. I mean, would going to the movies be a good first date? I mean. I don't know. I'm still not. You don't know? I, my first thing would probably be the movies or something like that. All right. How much movies called? Mm-hmm. Mm. How much movie tickets? You, you gonna let her get popcorn or something, drink? Whoa! You gotta think on whether you gonna let her get popcorn or something to drink. Yeah, yeah. Wow! She, yeah, she, she gonna get popcorn? Oh, wow! <laughs> is she gonna get popcorn? Oh man! Hold on, hold on. Popcorn is something like is he trying to get stuff in the movie theater? I ain't Bill Gates. You know how they be Bill? What? Fifty dollars for <laughs> a bag of candy? <laughs> so she can't. Hold on. Your first date with her, she can't get popcorn, bro? Our first date, we're going to have to stop by Dollar Tree. Man. On your Damn. first date? Absolutely. On your, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to go to the movie theater. Hope she got a jacket on so she can sneak that candy in. What? Then you're going to make her smuggle the candy in? Yeah, absolutely. She get caught. I had no parts. Wow. We ain't getting kicked out together. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch my movie. Wow. <laughs> I don't know who taught you that. I sure did <laughs> Wow. You must learn that from TikTok or something. Because you sure ain't doing <laughs> that for me. I ain't teaching that, y'all. So you're going to take it to the movies. But she got to sneak in popcorn, candy, and soda. Well. And if she get caught, it's on her. Oh, well. Absolutely. And you're going to keep watching the movie. Yes, sir. Mm. Man, we move because like we watching the, the new Black Panther. Well, that girl probably gonna beat your butt. I'm gonna love him. Yeah, right. Nah. But being serious though, um, <laughs> food words you go to the movies. Yeah, I like to get popcorn, something to drink. You know, I make sure we got to watch a good movie. You know, some good movies out right now. That Megan. Megan was fire. I seen that already. I heard the new Avatar was fire, but. That's three hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> three hours. Still a movie. Black Panther. Mm-hmm. What else is a good movie? See, he made a mistake right there. He did good with Megan. Your first day, you want to take it somewhere to a scary movie. Uh-huh. Huh, huh. 
You know what I mean? Why scary movie? You say, mm hmm. Why? Wow. Because they're going to be like all up on you and stuff like that. Ooh. The girl. She's going to be all up on you for. Because she's scared. Mm hmm. So, you ain't going to see a movie. You going to cop film? Yes, sir. Whoa! <laughs> Bruh, flag on the plate. Flag? Flag on the plate. Somebody, somebody, uh, mama watching it. They ain't going to go out their daughter now. You ain't trying to go to the movie. You trying to cop a film. That's what I'm calling you from now on. David Copperfield. David Copperfield? David Copperfield. Don't hit the plane, hit the game. Wow. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Your mama gonna see this. <laughs> Your mama, I ain't teaching that. I'm just as shocked as you. <laughs> <You're lying. laughs> I am appalled. Appalled, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am appalled. Oh, where we be, yes, sir. Mm hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Now you're gonna be watching the movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta tell me you're joking. I'm joking. I don't know you. They're gonna be like, oh, no. Nah, I'm joking. Mm -mm. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me put this out. And then you, oh, man. And then you wasting all. Oh, whoa. Man, I've been stuck on that one chicken foot talking for like five minutes. That thing is frozen. <laughs> it's cold? It shouldn't be. It was all hot when I pulled them off. How about that one? Like, like, you know, the food's not cold. You know, he's waving it around talking. Mm -hmm. So y'all going to the movies. Right. Is you going to make a move at the movies, though? Yeah. Like, what you going to do? Hit, hit him with that little yarn, man. Don't, I was going <laughs> to say don't do the yarn, bro. That's the corny, bro. I'm gonna give you some game. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, well, tell me what you really gonna do then. What I really do? Mm -hmm. Man, what would I do? What you really gonna do? I don't even know. You don't know? Mm hmm. You did a yawn. No, I, <laughs> nah. I you will never catch me doing a yawn move on snow. Mm hmm. Hey, don't be hating on that yarn. That yarn work. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe back in the 60s. Mm -mm. Not now. So, first thing first, when you take this to the movie theater, make sure you get the uh, the love couch. Not the love couches. <laughs> the recliner couches. Don't take it to the one with just a bunch of seats. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you had a baseball game. <laughs> uh -uh. It's what you do, right? Y'all sitting back, you feel me? After she had her popcorn, the movie started to get a little scary. You see her tension up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Wait for the first jump. When you feel that first jump, she will over. Oh, you scared, baby? And you put your on. Don't be scared. You know I got you. Got what you do. You feel me? I mm -hmm. got you, boo. Ain't nothing be scared of. You here with me. You know what I mean? Hit her with that. Make your attention be known from Jump Street. We ain't going all the... <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That's the move you was in. Be back bold. In there. I definitely you never hit the yawn. Yeah, you did. Nah, I knew it was the yawn. You know, you took a girl to a party. You probably sitting back there. Uh, I was too scared to hit the yawn. I wasn't bold enough for the yawn. First time I put my arm around a girl. I hit one of these. <laughs> she was looking that way. First, look over. She was looking that way. I was like, look over. Shaking with the arm around. Hand was shaking. You heard me? <laughs> her hand was just shaking. Mm. Mm -mm. And she kind of looked at her shoulder and see my hand shaking. She's like, ah. Uh. I was like, what? I was like, what? Once <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> she was cool with it, I stopped being nervous. I thought, see, oh, okay, it's cool. It's cool. Mm -mm. Don't do the yarn. Never, never, never. That's corny. It's been done too much. Hold on. So then, what you do after the movies? Mm. You know, 
movie theaters be having like little arcades and stuff like that. So I'm like, take it to that little area, you know, play some games, stuff like that. Oh, so you want a fun date? Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Laugh and tell you know. Mm hmm. Why you don't go to uh, Dave and Buster's? Why you put so much emphasis on Buster's? <laughs> you don't go re re why, man? <laughs> why? Man. <laughs> What is that what it's called, yo? Dave and Busters. Man, why you put so much emphasis on it, though? On Busters? Yeah. Because you a Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Dave and Busters, yeah, that, that'd be good. But then I'll uh, build them all. Got one. That way you can get some food. Yeah. And you put some game. Mm hmm. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad. What does she want to go to Root Chris? Huh? What does she want to go to Root Chris? What's that? A steak restaurant. It's expensive. Well, I'm not Bill Gates. I'm going to say it again. What you going to say to us? She said, I want to go. How about we go to Root Chris? Then we go on the roof and we order huh? an appetizer so she can cool. <laughs> and then two dollar appetizers. Ain't none. <laughs> Ain't none. Well, I told you it's expensive, bro. Ain't no two dollar appetizers. We, we filling up on water. <laughs> we filling up on water. So why would you even take her then? She said she wanted to go. She didn't say she wanted to eat some steak. She said she wanted to go. <laughs> so you going and you getting filled up on some water. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna be your first and last date. <laughs> I she gonna expose you all over Snapchat, Instagram. And hey, see that first thing got me planned out. At least she hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> that first thing got me planned out, bro. It got me planned out. Know where you going? How much money you got? How much it's gonna take to get there? Mm -hmm. Now, do you bring her anything on the first date? Mm -mm. I personally wouldn't. Eat. Why not? No. Here's why. Because, yeah, let's say y'all talking for a little minute, right? Y'all talking. Y'all both like, you take her out on a date. You know, you don't want to pull up there where they're like, oh, hey, you know, I just got you this gig. No, you know, no. 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 That's whack. That's whack. And you go in there. Take her to the movies, snatch her up by a collar, and start walking with her. You walk to the back wherever your movie's supposed to be, throw her in the seat. <laughs> and you sit back, hit her one of these. Whole movie, whole scary movie. You can't be scared. You gotta have a straight face the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that what you gonna do? You gotta say nothing the whole movie, even when she asks you questions. You just ignore her? Yep. Oh no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. She's gonna think you're a serial killer. <laughs> Relax. We're just gonna take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Mm-mm. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta plan that first date out, man. Yeah. No. When you get your first date, you gonna make sure you right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, where did you go your first date? My first date? Mm-hmm. We gotta back it up. I'm gonna tell a story on here. I told you. Well, think back about 50 years. Yeah, right. Don't try, <laughs> don't try to play me like that, bro. Don't think, try to play me like about that. 50 or 60. <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to think who my first date was with. I don't even remember.
I, man, I had girlfriends young. It was the first date, though. But you got dementia? No, I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to really think. Like, the first date? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what we went to on first date, bro. I tell you, the first time I got a girl number I really, really, really like. Now it happened. <laughs> we was in middle school. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna tell you her last name. Her first name is Ashley. Who? Ashley. I was like, first, I ain't gonna say her last name. People that back, back home gonna know who this is, too. People that know me gonna know who this is. But I liked her a lot. Finally built up the courage. I remember I liked her so much. I'm gonna tell you how much I liked her. We came time to pick for uh, whether you was gonna have a band class or be an orchestra. All the fellas were going to band class. You feel me? They want to do drums and stuff like that. I went to orchestra because all the girls was going to the orchestra. <laughs> Not only were all the girls going over there, the girl I really liked, she went over to the orchestra. So I said, I'm going to the orchestra class. You feel me? I'm finna go, you know what I mean? Try my hand. It's a whole class period for the number of girls, really. And a couple guys here and there, but mostly girls. So we up in there. I'm getting that good old long time with her, talking to her every day, you feel me? Let her laugh, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? This back when I was super nice, too. I was always funny. I was super nice. I probably like, I probably was a simp. <laughs> hey, man. So, what y'all been here? I finally got the courage to uh, ask for a phone number. Mm -hmm. And yes, we did actual numbers, not apps. Not Snapchat. We did actual phone numbers where you had to have, hear somebody's voice. Not a text message. You feel me? Um, you also had beepers, man. We did. Definitely did. Mm-hmm. Definitely did. Yeah, them little, them little cues. <laughs> man, hold on, man. Don't, don't be hating on the beeper, bro. Them little cues? Mm-hmm. You be getting numbers in? Yeah. What? So how would it be rewarded? Did you ask him it calls on him, or was that something like? I'll tell you this story. Ring? So I get her number. <clears throat> work myself. I work the courage to talk to her in class and get her number. Mm -hmm. She give me the number. Ooh, I'm geek. I'm like, yeah. I got her number. I'm gonna call her, make her my girl. <laughs> Not make her. Ask her to be my girl. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You gotta make clear these days. I don't mean make nothing. <laughs> Ask her if she wants to be my girl. Mm -hmm. I'm so nervous. Even though I'm calling her, I brush my hair. I spray it on cologne. <laughs> <laughs> I call her mom pick up the phone. I can say her mother name because her mom, everybody know her mom. Uh, her mom pick up the phone. I say, hey, it's me, Gavin. Can I speak to Ashley? And she go, uh, yeah, 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 one second. Ashley! Called her two times. I remember like it was yesterday. Ashley! Huh? Telephone? Who is it? Said my name. She come grab the phone. Hello? Hey, what's up? Hey, what you doing? <laughs> Nothing, I'm sitting here chilling. What you doing? Nothing, I'm watching TV. Oh, okay. And at that moment, I realized I ain't had nothing to talk about. <laughs> I ain't had nothing to say, bro. That was the longest 60 seconds of my life. It felt like an eternity. <laughs> it was just blank, dead silence, bro. Mm. Like somebody hit the mute button on that conversation right there. <laughs> like, like we both hit the mute button at the same time. I realized I was so infatuated by her, bro. I froze and I couldn't even think of nothing to talk about. The whole time I'm waiting, I'm sitting in my head saying, say something. <laughs> say something. <laughs> say, I don't care if you ask her what her shoe size is. Say something, bro. This is weird. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. And it was only 60 seconds at tops, but it felt like 10 minutes, bro. It felt like 10 minutes of non speaking. Finally, she goes, Okay, well, I'm going to call you back. Uh, oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Click, click. Now, nah, I never called her again. Mm. 
I couldn't even face her at school the next day. I might have called out sick. <laughs> I might have was sick the next day. Never called her again, bro. Yeah. And that's why I messed up back then. After that, I felt like she had a boyfriend for the rest of, for the rest of school. <laughs> and going into high school. She always had a boyfriend after that. Mm. Man. Fumble. Big fumble. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I learned from that, though. Yeah. I said, man, I got to be getting comfortable talking to women on the phone because this ain't going to cut it. Man. I didn't know I was going to freeze. I talk to girls all the time in school. Yeah, that's... I don't, I don't know. I feel like I can make conversations better, you know, when it's not on the phone and stuff like that. I feel like y'all a bunch of weirdos don't know how to talk on the phone. I'm just saying. Y'all so anti-social. So, uh, what you doing? My defense, I was like 12, 11, maybe, 11, 12. Yeah, well, I was right. middle school. You was 17. Yeah, right. <laughs> At middle school? <laughs> yup. Man. Nah, but I mean, you know, it all works differently for some people. Like, you know, a kid would go to my school, right? He liked this girl. And everybody was like, you know, Go up there and talk to her. And so, I'm listening to what they're saying, right? Mm -hmm. I'm walking behind them. Like, not, you know, not too close, but close enough I can hear what they're saying. He didn't even know I was right behind him. Neither of them did. And he was talking to her. And he was like, oh, uh, he was like, hey, what's up? She was like, oh, hey. He was like, uh, what you doing? We was on our way home on the buses. Like, we were <laughs> getting ready to go home. What you mean, what you doing? She was like, uh, I'm getting ready to go home. He was like, oh, you like books? Books? <laughs> and he was like, oh, <laughs> you like books? <laughs> out of nowhere, he claimed it was because he seen a book that was hanging out of her bag, but I ain't seen no book. Mm. What you would have said? Man. Because you hating on his game. All right. I probably wouldn't have said nothing when they saw, you know, probably not like as they were getting ready to go on the buses. Probably because we have we have a shuttle bus. Nah, no, you got you got to be in his steps right? because you got to just all right, that situation. All right. Okay, but what you would say? That situation, I probably would have said what's up to her and you know, I asked her probably how her day was. You know, after that, made a little bit of small talk. I probably, you know, since we on our way back home, I would have just got her snap, mentioned her my number before we all would have left. I'd be like, hey, before you leave, you can give me your number. You know, you can give me your snap, something like that along the lines. You think that'll work? What, what would you do? Man. What, what would you do? Man. You think that'll work? As soon as I'd use his line. You like books? Let me go with his old head, Riz. She's like, yeah. <laughs> Why? Cause I want to read you all night long. Yeah, you better get. <laughs> I want to read you all night long. Yeah, and you would have been smooth. Um, can we see Kevin down the office? Please? <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, I I tell you that. Uh, so me and the girl, I'll tell you about the girl Ashley. That I really like, right? Yeah. I never forget this at uh, one of the homecoming dances in middle school. Was it home? Was it called home? It was, I think it was called social. A social? I forgot what it was called. It was a dance. A dance in middle school. Eighth grade social. That's what it was called. Mm. And uh, it was a song. It was called Donkey. It was, let me ride that donkey, donkey. Let me ride that donkey, donkey. Let me ride that donkey, donkey. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it was a dance that went to it. Where you was acting like he's riding the donkey. You feel me? And the girl going to be throwing it back on you. Now, that's eighth grade social. You weren't even allowed to dance close back then. Mm. You had to be like a foot away. <laughs> so that song come on. I see Ashley over the dance. What's up? Come here. Let me dance with you. You know what I mean? I don't know what I said. I can't remember what I said. We started. Say that. No, like, I probably didn't. You mind if I, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you mind if I, uh. No, I thought I was cool, bro. 
I thought I was cool. I definitely come off like that. Maybe sixth grade, I probably was. But like eighth grade, nah, man. You can see the pic. I'll bring the pictures out. I'll bring the pictures out after this. We get over here and show you. I thought I was a smooth criminal with the glasses on. Couldn't tell me nothing. But uh, <laughs> song came on. She thought of throwing it back. Boy, I got behind. Uh, I'm slapping her hand, holding on. You feel? Grinding all up on that day. Teacher was like, "Oh my god! Stop this! Stop this! Stop this!" Really? Yes. Yo. And threatened to call our parents, yo. For real? Yeah. What do you think your mom would have done? Nothing. Nothing. Mm, if I ever got a phone call like that, not for dancing. Nah, mom probably would have been like, uh uh. You don't think I think so? Uh uh. Oh, she was like, nah. Well, she might have, I don't know. She might, boy, you ain't supposed to be doing that kind of stuff. She probably would. I mean, if I'd have told us what the girl I really liked, though, she might have just let it slide. Mom, nah, that's what the girl told you I like. You know what I mean? She might let it slide. Come on, some riding donkey. <laughs> I ain't dancing. I used to be able to dance, bro. I believe it. I used to be able to dance, bro. I dance don't know what, I don't know what happened. I used, I used to be able to dance. Though. Your knees gave out. That's what happened. <laughs> like your toothbrush did, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Company. Man. But yeah, bro. About to get kicked out the dance. <laughs> Did you get kicked out? Mm mm. They just told her to stop and they made her separate. Mm. Oh my god! She was horrified. <laughs> really? Mm hmm. It was a white lady. She imagined anybody ever did that with her back in her day. She wasn't used to seeing that. <laughs> mm. She was throwing a bite too. I can still see it, bro. We had that. I'm like, 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 i what was that? Supposed to, it ain't supposed to be snowing. Mm -hmm. Let me look at my phone real quick. It's supposed to be snowing. Mm -hmm. I hope not. It, it already started snowing. Yeah, it was snowing bad when I left school. Mm -hmm. All right, it's let's wrap this up. Degrees. More of the story is, brother, get you some game when you go on that first date. I already got game. Better person is on game green in your mouth. What? Never mind. What? That's over here. No, no, no. What? That's over, that's over your head. Never mind. <laughs> all I heard was in your mouth. You see, you you just can't. That's help. all you heard? Wow. Nah. So you gonna dissect everything I said and take the I one part? On my phone. All I heard was like, nah, in bro. your mouth. Nah, bro. He can't help. You need to pause your your you, thoughts. You need you to need pause. To pause. pause. Mm. I'm talking about meeting them out. Now you talking, man? Let's go ahead and end this video. Bye, man. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, man, if you like the stuff. If you don't, I don't care. Man, bro, you wasted a whole bunch of chicken feet. All right, bro, you did good. You did good. All right, y'all, y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Shogun K. Till next time, peace. Bye. <laughs>